Hey, how y'all doing? I thought I'd do a video showing a couple of knives I finished here recently. Um, I'll show this here fixed blade first. A while back, um, a, my cousin stopped by and whiz messing down here in the shop. And he cut this out and, and shaped it. And since then, I've finished it on out. And I think it's a dandy little design. I really like how it feels. It just fits in the palm of your hand so nice. And it feels like your hand's over top the cutting edge whenever you're using it. Um, it's only five inches and five eighths long, so it's not real big. Um, I think it'd make a dandy like utility or even a skin and knife. Um, I'm probably going to end up making a few more of these, I believe. Because I really, well, I just really like it. Uh, me anyways, I did an edge quench on it. You can see that um, little faint line going right up through there. Um, it's hard from the line to the cutting edge. And the rest of it's, you know, unhardened. Um, and I did a stone wash finish on it. My first time doing that. And it's a subtle finish. And I actually think it goes really well with this. Um, I put black paper micarta for the handle scales with nickel silver pins. Um, I've epoxied and peened the pins, um, so them scales should be on there good. I've did so many pins on pocket knives, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and peen the pins. Just be a little extra security there. Um, and I did like a recessed fit or heirloom fit i'm not sure which way you'd want to call it um where the handle material don't go all the way to the edges i've seen that done before and i was looking at this uh, about putting the handle material on there i thought that would be a uh, a neat way to do that on this knife and i really like how it turned out uh, anyways there's that little knife and the other one i finished is this pocket knife right here um, this is nickel silver bolsters and pins and I did a little thin flute on the bolster there I think it kind of makes it look classy and um, I use stainless for the liners and the handle scale material there is it's advertised as a green burlap and personally I think it's a rich like a brown deep brown color um, but anyways, green might show up in it in certain lights. I don't know, but to me, it's just a nice, deep, dark, rich color, which is fine with me because, and I just really like the look of burlap, um, handle material. So it don't matter a whole lot to me, um, but it's a lot richer of a color than just a natural. Um, anyways, and the blade and back spring is 80 CRV2. And with a close, it's four inches long. And open, it is seven inches long. I ended up doing a hand sanded finish on the blade. Um, and as well as swedges. And I put the nail nick pretty far back. Um, and from here on, I want to keep in mind that really, you really feel the pull um whenever you open it with it that far back um i mean i can open it and it doesn't hurt my thumbnail um which is good but you really notice the um if the pull's heavy or not and having it that far back just really um you notice it just that much more uh, but anyways that's one of those things i gotta log back in my memory banks um but overall, I think this has turned out pretty nice. I mean, I ain't made a perfect one yet, and this one isn't perfect either. But um, I think it's pretty nice. I really enjoy the look of it. Um, the blade's kind of like a trapper-style blade. Um, and I'm not sure what the shape of the handle would be called. But they 
lend themselves to each other really nicely, I think. Um, and I think it has a nice action to it, even though it's kind of slim. Um, I can still pinch open it, and it locks open pretty nice. I mean, you still wouldn't want to poke and prod something because it is a slip joint. And if it closed on your fingers, that'd be a pretty bad day. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, overall, I think this one turned out pretty nice. Um, but anyways, has a nice snap when it shuts. Anyway, there's a look at that. And I do appreciate everyone watching and following along. And I will talk to you next time.